Before you watch this video, here's a warning. Please do not try these pranks at home or at school. Do not try and recreate anything you see on this channel and do not be as stupid as Elliot. Sorry, bro. This is weird, I know. Ben and Elliot have been going for five years. I have done so many pranks that we have become the biggest prank brand, pranksters, prank channels in the world. I want to straight up say thank you to you guys. And that is the most important thing that I can say. Thank you for sharing every moment with us. You've liked, you've subscribed, you've turned notifications on, you've commented below, hashtag sorry bro. Thank you for making this possible. So today, it's a special video. It is the 2020 video. It is celebration of five years of Ben Elliott, but most important, 10 years, a decade of the world. Elliot, it's gonna be a sticky situation. Sorry, bro. In 2015, we all began when an act called Vine was released in the US. Uh, ah! I said, whoever threw that paper, your mom's a hoe. It's Mary Chrysler. Now this came up to the UK and I was like, yo, what is this? Is there a grapevine? Is there a tree? No, it was an app. We made six second videos. Just on my way out, gonna do one finger pull-ups. Big Rick. <laughs> Honestly, mate, it was a driving lobster. I don't believe you, you're drunk. I wish I was. You see me rolling. Now the market was saturated, there was a lot of good creators in there, and I had to push them away and say, yo, it's me, Ben Phillips. And the only way I was going to do that was by being a crazy motherfucker going on the streets and making pranks. Car. I love you. I love you too. I got so good. Stick them up. Light thieves be like. Excuse me, sir, do you mind if I steal your items? Go ahead, call up daddy, please. <laughs> <laughs> and then, all of a sudden, one day I had an argument with my brother called Elliot, and I realised he had a very bad temper. Unicorns be like. <laughs> Bro, what the hell? Is the penny inside the bottle? <laughs> oh, Unicorns be like. He's offside, he's offside! <laughs> <laughs> now let's face it, in 2015 I was a bourbon amateur. Chili was literally the only thing I used. I did it in sandwiches. <laughs> I did it in his willy. I've got a swollen dick. In his eyes. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> if I had a little drop of chili oil to his aftershave. Oh, I don't a what? Chili's plus face mask. My Bin. face is on fire! <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 tissue on you? <laughs> but I needed to up the game a little bit more. I needed to do something a little bit more crazy. And the only thing that was coming to my mind was super glue. Super glue. Super glue. Super glue. Super glue. What is in my hair? It's super glue. <laughs> or super glue! <laughs> you stupid <laughs> idiot! I thought if I apply super glue to this sun lounger, because I've super glued it back. Ah! It involves super glue and a toilet seat. <laughs> Rip it off! Ah! Ah! Some super glue, putting it on the bars. Ah! Ah! Bad, bad, bad. Elliot, he's taking you to the hospital. Ah! Put some super glue on his finger. Why is my finger stuck at my nose? I there? don't know any of you! Stop! That's disgusting! Oh, you! Let's have a look. <laughs> this is not funny. Oops, I had some carpet spray. Look at me! Don't! Look at me! I've got some period pads and I've got some wax strips. <laughs> My nose is stuck! I feel like I'm on a nose off of a gypsy! It looks as if you've got a vagina in your nose. <laughs> vagina! So then my agent said to me, Ben, we want you to go on tour. I'm like, what am I going to do on tour? They're like, trust me, it's going to be amazing. It is 6am. I now need to catch a flight to Hong Kong. Taiwan! Kuala Lumpur. Sydney. <laughs> Just 
be sitting in a dog cage for 16 and a half hours. I'm not a dog. How good is it? Oh, baby. No smell. No, no smell it. It's almost like ass. That's disgusting. Is it so? You silly piece of shit. Big That's dick. me. Big dick. Chicken claw. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Hey, shit though, yeah. <laughs> Ben's just made me pickled duck egg. <laughs> eat, eat. Edit, edit, edit. Guys, this view is incredible. my first of buckles. Sorry, bro. That's so loud in literally two hours. What do you think of the book, Elliot? <laughs> Stop recording, Ben. I the thought the were bad enough. I'm a stupid fan, so I <laughs> ask me for selfies every two minutes. <laughs> it's because, Eddie, look, you look good. You look great in there. Yeah. That's a good look, isn't it, Ben? And then in 2017, I decided to change things up. The house was getting smaller. I was getting claustrophobic. Elliot was getting angrier, so I bought an office. Whoa. Yeah. It's ridiculous. The He's got a bouncy castle! Oh, Gaff Bale's booked up. He'll have those later on. Oh, I see there's a bit of doping yet. So this is where Ben has his amazing meetings. Yeah. Okay. At this point, I'm literally on my own. There's nothing stopping me. So I can take this one step higher, one step crazier, and slowly but surely, I did the most controversial pranks in the world. <laughs> Good luck. That's you. <laughs> what the f are you wearing? <laughs> what the f is going on with my hair? Is my hair fixed now? <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell whether he's angry or surprised. <laughs> oh no. Oh, 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 I'm gonna let you do it! <laughs> <laughs> I look like a walking tampon! What are you going to do about it? Oh! 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 My followers have grown by 10,000 subscribers a day until I kind of went and screwed it all by going a little bit too controversial. Hey, get off the track! What are you doing? Just get off the track! <laughs> I don't like you saying bolt gone wrong. <laughs> F you, Ben. Oh shit. Oh, Eddie, what are you doing? So of course, it wasn't just a dildo prank, but I started a series called Prank the Hater, where I finally wanted to get back to that person that kept giving me shit in the comments. Welcome to the series. We put the rock on the hater's car, the hater comes out, then this is Elliot's cue to dress up as an alien. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. We're gonna make a massive carnage with the gorilla, ending it with one big mighty sorry, bro. Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh, god. Oh, oh my god! Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we got zombies, we got police, we got army trucks. I've succeeded on prank haters getting again some of the biggest pranks in the entire world. I thought, right, it's time to move on. Let's get one step ahead. Let's do something innovative. Let's make the first ever YouTube cartoon. One brother pranked the other and filmed it on a phone. Uploaded it to the internet so you could watch at home. Now come along on an adventure and learn things as we go. 
best friends I joke together It's the Ben and Elliot Show I'm an internet star But without me wouldn't get that far I play pranks on him all day And they always leave me with a scar Together we have millions of views And they always end up with a bruise Flashy cars and big watches Hospital bills and walking sticks Broken bones, mobile phones I just want to be left alone Like, subscribe, comment below huh, Let me guess Hashtag sorry bro You got it It's the Ben and Elliot Show Oh, oh dear well, the cartoon was running and producing a different episode every week, I wanted to do my second UK tour. When did the second UK tour, sold it out, it was incredible, you guys loved it. But at this point, we had more CGI, we had more bangs, more pops, more fireworks, more freebies, more cash throughout, and of course, better pranks. And with better pranks, comes a bigger sorry, bro. South End on Sea! I'm here with Newcastle. So at this point, I'd been daily pranking. 365 pranks in 365 days. And take note that a lot of these pranks were actually made a year and a half ago, because obviously you can't prank someone every day, they would know, but you can't burn the candle at both ends. I literally broke down on tour while I was in North Wales. I just broke down. I just started crying and I realized I was exhausted, but I was also so happy that I had hit such a big milestone in any YouTuber's career. I had daily vlogged, daily pranked, call it what you want, for 365 days, and I needed to take a break. I'd got to the point where I was 23 stone, I was very ill, and my brain just wasn't sleeping. I wasn't happy in my life, I wasn't happy with a lot of things. So I took six months off, I took time to reflect, and in reflecting, there's only one thing on my mind. I needed to come back with a bang. I'm firing. I'm stuck in bloody Iraq! And five, three! Oh! see if it was possible to put all these pranks into a, a weekly vlog, almost like keeping up with the Kardashians, but instead keeping up with the Phillipses. So we started the series, The Bro Mansion. Welcome to The Bro Mansion! a very, very important character to all of you, my own girlfriend, Georgia. Behind you! I can hear the show. It's amazing. It's a oh my god, Trish! Stop spying on me, you weirdo! <laughs> so now I've got a girlfriend, and yeah, George comes to my life, and I fall in love with her, and it's a happy ending story, because then we end up having a baby, which is also known as Beast. You're so cute, look, you're so lush. Aww. <laughs> oh, <laughs> We've traveled the entire world together. We've done stuff that I couldn't imagine, and you know, stupid guys, YouTubers, we make quite a bit of money, and that's how we get to make so many videos, you know? It's a high cost, high production, but also a lot of money comes back from it, and in doing that, I actually had a big crash, where I lost every single penny in my life. I basically went bankrupt. There's no other way to say it. We have to start packing the office away because there was no one. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what investment was. I didn't know what asking someone was to help me out. I didn't have it. I just knew that I had to shut this down, and, you know, do the right thing and tell these people their jobs are gone. And, you know, I was crying. Like, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm a stronger person now because I've got over that. But it was very difficult. And the only thing I did have around me was my boys and, of course, my girl. And it was, you know, Carl Tristan, uh, you know, Connor, Elliot, Jake. Uh, <laughs> 
ev ev everyone, to be honest, you um, were around me, and, and of course George was there while I had no food in my fridge, not a penny to my name. That's where I really knew who my who my boys were and who my girl was. Whether I've been at my worst, whether it's mental health, whether it's bankruptcy, whether it's losing characters and friends that I love. When you go down, there's only one way, and it's up. And that was the beginning of a new us. We're hitting the biggest viral pranks in the world, where we've gone and achieved things we never thought we'd achieve. We've done everything we can do to get there. We've kept going and going and going. And there's nothing more that I can say to every single one of you out there than thank you very much for supporting myself, Ben Phillips. Thank you. Like, subscribe, turn the notifications on, and comment below, hashtag, Sorry, bro. Man. Take ages. You do. It's just a can of beer for God. Why are you still recording for? Because obviously. That was my last beer. I hate slugs. Really, a statement. Ah! 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 Ah!